The Night Before Christmas by Clement C. Moore. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. A mamma in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. On the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer. <laughs> driver so lively and quick i knew in a moment it must be saint nick more rapid than eagles his courses they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name now dasher now dancer now prancer and vixen on comet on cupid on donner and blitzen to the top of the porch to the top of the wall now dash away dash away dash away all <laughs> As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in the twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. <laughs> As I drew with my head, as a, as I was climbing around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A blunder of toys he flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler, just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was shot up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> chubby and plump a right jolly old elf I, and i laughed when i saw him in spite of myself a wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know i had nothing to dread he spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk 
and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. sprang into his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and they all flew away like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.